It's been two years since we began modifying our 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Over that time, we slowly and steadily upgraded the JT to best fit our needs. Our goal from the start has been to build the Jeep in a way that it could accommodate our family of four and be capable enough to tackle a variety of trails across the country. In the past year alone, we've wheeled the Jeep in Utah, Tennessee, and North Carolina, and completed our biggest trek to date, a 6,200-mile round trip to the Rubicon Trail. Though the Gladiator's bed was a major selling point for us in the beginning, it's been one area we've struggled with. Off-road, we've smashed the taillights and dragged the receiver hitch too many times to count. The rear bumper became bent and bashed, as did the factory bedguards. Since we were laying our 40-inch tall spare in the bed, we also sacrificed a tremendous amount of space. Instead of piecemealing a host of different aftermarket solutions, we decided to do something a bit more cohesive by replacing the entire bed with one from MITS Alloy. Doing so might seem like an extreme measure, but for us it made the most sense. The all-aluminum tray beds from MITS Alloy offer a tremendous amount of gear storage, increase the departure angle significantly, and truly expand the versatility of the Gladiator. We've fans of this style of Australian setup for years, and once we learned we could easily get it in the US, we were all in. Our MITS Alloy EVO2 tray and canopy was ordered through Mule Expedition Outfitters, the company has retail locations in Washington and Oregon, and installed by Asheville Vehicle Outfitters, AVO. AVO is in Mills River, North Carolina, which is closer to our home. In this story, we're diving into the details of the MITS Alloy EVO2 tray and canopy bolt-on bed upgrade and showing how we've set it up to best suit our needs. The EVO2 tray and canopy are separate pieces. The bottom half is the tray. It can be set up as a flatbed with optional bedsides or configured as we have it, with a canopy bolted to the top. The midsize one we opted for is slightly wider than the cab of the Gladiator and measures 5 feet, 8 inches from front to back. To install the bed, we went to MITS Alloy's East Coast distributor, Asheville Vehicle Outfitters, in North Carolina. There, AVO removed our old setup and bolted the MITS Alloy tray onto the provided Gladiator-specific pillar mounts. As configured, our new setup weighed in around 850 pounds. To handle that extra weight, we installed a set of Dobinson spring and suspension 440 to 663 inch rear springs. This put us back to the 3 inch lift height we needed. We knew that only running 3 inches of lift and a 40 inch tall Nito trail grappler might create clearance issues with the new bed. Given our Dynatrack ProRock XD60 axles are 72.5 inches wide, our stance is also much different that stock. Since we didn't want to lift the Jeep any higher, we had our friends at U-Joint Offroad trim out a non-structural section of the bed that was rubbing it full bump. To make the trim seamless, U-Joint Offroad built a set of custom gap guards and highline fenders out of aluminum. These were then powder-coated to match and bolted in place. We could have reused our factory receiver hitch, but we took full advantage of the high-clearance departure angle of our new bed. U-Joint Offroad built us this custom receiver, which sits a full 8 inches higher than the factory receiver and further helped to improve the Jeep's departure angle. Our MITS Alloy EVO2 tray came with an 8-gallon, gravity-fed water tank. Hidden at the front of the bed, this tank makes excellent use of otherwise unused space. It's also worth noting that the tank is BPA-free, so we can fill it with drinking water. The new MITS Alloy EVO2 bed combines many of the features we were looking at from different companies, tire carrier, drawer system, and so on. On the rear of our canopy, we have a place for our 40-inch tall spare, a 5-gallon fuel can, and a 5-foot-long slide-out drawer. The drawer even has a movable cover that functions as a prep-slash-work area. It's sealed and deep enough to hold items such as our air compressor and a small toolbox. We purposely left the driver's side of our canopy box empty. The idea was to keep this area free for luggage and miscellaneous gear that we need for our various adventures. It does have a tray at the top, which is a great place to store our spare parts. 
The passenger side of our canopy is home to our Clearview Accessories Easy Slide Fridge Slide and Matias Alley Drawer System. The fridge slide makes life easy as it drops our 50-liter Rough Country fridge down to a more accessible level. The drawer is great for dry food storage and gear that we need to get to quickly. On top of the drawer system is a deck with tie-down points at the back. This is where we house our power system from EcoFlow. We are using the Delta 2 along with the expandable battery pack. This gives us more than enough power for our frequent weekend trips. We also have a portable solar panel that we can use if we are set in place for a while. We prefer this system over a permanently mounted one as it gives us the freedom to use the electric generators for other things. Both sides of the bed come with boxes that bolt into the rails under the tray. Like the rest of the canopy, these are sealed from the elements. We typically use one to house all our recovery gear. The other side rotates storage rolls based on where we are headed. The original reason we stopped by U-Joint Offroad after our initial bed install, AVO is just up the road, was to install U-Joint's new Gladiator roof rack. Our plan is to mount a low-profile rooftop tent on the MITS Alley rack, then use the U-Joint rack for solar panels and a Pelican storage case. On the trail Upgrading to a MITS Alley tray and canopy is a major change, and one that we thought seriously about for some time. The extra width makes it a little harder to see around with our stock mirrors, but we love the added room. The fact that we can carry so much gear in a well-organized manner makes the bed way more usable than our previous setup. We did have to dial a few more turns of low-speed compression adjustment into our rear Fox 3.0 shocks, but the handling and ride quality are still excellent. At the end of the day, the EVO2 setup does exactly what we were hoping. It provides more room for our gear and greatly improves the off-road shortcomings of the stock Gladiator bed. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.